Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss a model question paper which was uploaded by BTU. So model question paper uh, one I am discussing now. So for the first semester BE degree examination, the subject name is calculus and differential equation. Subject code is 21, 20, 21 mat 11. You are going to be given uh, 3 hours with the maximum marks of uh, 100. You should have this note here mainly. You should observe this note, read carefully as you are facing uh, the semester examination for the first time uh, in the engineering. So you should have this knowledge. Answer any 5 full question choosing at least one question from each module. So this is the note they have provided. So now I will move on to module 1. So in module 1 they have given the questions. In module 1 they have given question number 1 and question number 2. From question 1 and 2 you should answer either of one question. Means full question means you should answer all question number 1 A, B, C or you can answer question 2 A, B, C. So this is the way of uh, choosing the questions as it is an internal choice in the module 1. So module 1 is of uh, differential calculus 1. So they have given question number 1 here as uh, with usual notation prove that uh, tan phi is equal to r into d theta by dr. Another way of asking this problem is prove that angle between the radius vector and a tangent is tan phi equal to r into d theta by dr. Then they have given uh, find the angle between the curves, two curves. Then they have asked uh, show that the radius of curvature at uh, the given point uh, of the cardioid of uh, parametric equation in terms of parametric equation to show that 4a cos theta by 2 and you should make an observation here. There is a, an error here in the question x is equal to a times of theta plus sin theta. This should be an theta plus sin theta. Make this as theta plus sin theta and y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. For this you have a choice as uh, pedal equation question number 2a uh, to prove that uh, standard uh, notation of pedal equation 1 over p square equal to 1 over r square plus 1 over r power 4 dr by dt uh, the whole square then you require to find out uh, question number b uh, find the pedal equation of the given curve r power m equal to a power m cos m theta plus sin m theta finally question number 2c you have find the radius of curvature for the curve x cube plus y cube equal to 3a x y at the given points so see to that which question is easy for you then answer that question seeing all the three options there as what question number one has three questions and question number two has also have three questions so which one you are comfortable you can answer either of only one question either one or two this is the way of answering so next uh, we will we, we shall move on to module two module two is of a uh, differential calculus 2. So module 2 contains question number 3 and 4. Question number 3 and 4. So you are going to have a compulsory question there as McLaren series, uh, Jacobians, maxima, minima, uh, composite functions or partial differential equations. So these are all the compulsory questions. So you have an option like this answering any of these questions. So in first question, uh, in question number 3a, they have given McLaren series expansion. Question number b has given composite function. Question number c has given uh, uh, maxima extremum values. Find the extremum values. Question number 4a has given uh, L'Hopital rule, LH rule. Then they have given ordinary uh, partial differential equation. You should show that uh, the uh, given uh, equation satisfies this partial differential equation. Then finally, question number c is defined as uh, Jacobian. They are as this notation is nothing but called as Jacobian. You require to find the Jacobian of the given function. So this is the way I have asked for uh, module 2. Now we shall move on for module 3. So module 3 is of uh, ordinary differential equation of first order. So here also you have a compulsory question that is Newton's law of cooling or Clairite's equation or solvable for P exact reducible to exact orthogonal tragedy these are all the possible questions 
possible uh, questions from the topics like uh, exact solvable for p newton's law of cooling orthogonal trajectory clairite's equations so out of these uh, six questions uh, definitely three questions will be compulsory you can choose any of the three questions and answer there so module 3 will be of the questions 5 and 6 out of 5 and 6 you should answer either 5 or 6 next we shall move on to module 4 module 4 is of ordinary differential equations of higher order differential equation so uh, module 4 will be containing question number 7 and question number 8 you should answer either 7 or 8 so they have given uh, uh, type 1 type 1 is of the form e power ax type 2 is of the form cos ax type 3 of the form polynomial function so here also a uh, compulsory question will be of uh, either from these three types they are going to provide you one question minimum one question will be there definitely then one more question is uh, vari variation of parameters will be compulsory and there is uh, one more uh, two or two other questions will be there so from out of that one question will be compulsory Cauchy or Legend so this is the way of asking the question from module 4 they can ask type 1 or type 2 or type 3 or next uh, there is an option between uh, uh, Cauchy and Legendre and variation of parameters so choose which is comfortable for you and answer that question question from module 4 so if you move on to last module a uh, very easiest uh, topic uh, in your uh, first semester called linear algebra Definitely one question will be a rank of the matrix. You should find the rank of the matrix. Then they have asked a Gauss Jordan. Question number 9B uh, they have asked uh, for Gauss Jordan. Then Rayleigh's Bohr method. And question number 10 again they have asked for uh, rank of the matrix. And the, the, from the given system of equation you require to find uh, uh, lambda and mu. And you should decide that whether the given system of solution is one solution or unique solution or infinite solution. Question number 10C is of uh, again a system of equation and using that uh, system of equation there is a method called cos Seidel method apply that method and you should find the solution for x y z. So out of uh, uh, in uh, module 5 I can say that uh, rank of the matrix is compulsory part, Rayleigh's power method is compulsory, cos Seidel, cos Jordan and eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, and also solving the system of equation is compulsory. So there is an option, plenty of options. You can answer any of the three questions from module five. So this is the just uh, the given the paper pattern of uh, first semester of calculus and differential uh, equation. So go through this paper pattern of uh, set one. So kindly wait for uh, set two. I am going to explain that also. I am going to uh, discuss uh, the more model question paper two also with two people. So thank you for watching. Those who are not subscribed to my channel, kindly get subscribed. Thank you all.